Now that we've learned how to move and rotate objects using the icons, let's look at it in a little bit more depth. Okay, so as you know, I can rotate objects using my transforms, but I can also switch between transforms using 3ds Max hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts. This will save you quite a lot of time, so you'll probably end up doing this instead of using the main toolbar icons. So to switch between the different transforms, this is pretty standard in most 3D programs. It's the Q, W, E, and R keys. So Q is simply select object in 3ds Max. The W hotkey is select and move. E is select and rotate. And R is select and scale. But remember, you want to try to avoid using scale. So I'll hit Control Z to undo. Additionally, if we go back to the W key and use our Move tool, you can see that the Move tool, the gizmo itself, actually has a bracket. In fact, there are three brackets. If we look at this in our perspective view, you'll see there are three little yellow brackets that we can click on. And this will allow me to move my object in more than one direction. So I can move it in two directions at once. For example, if I click on the bottom bracket here, I can move this object in the X and Y axes, but not in the Z axis. So we're not moving vertically. We're only moving forward and back and side to side in our world. Okay, so the same thing goes for the scale tool. In fact, I can select my scale tool or just hit the R key and I can scale in different directions to distort the shape of objects. Control C to undo. Now that we've got a handle as it were on our transform gizmos, let's take a look at moving through the space or navigating in the viewports. In the extreme lower right hand corner of the 3ds Max window you will see a series of eight buttons. Now you won't use all of these all the time and in fact, most of the time you will use the shortcut keys because it is simply way, way faster and better to use shortcut keys instead of going down to these icons all the time. But let's take a look at the icons and we'll use them in conjunction with the hotkeys. So first you will see a magnifying glass. 3ds Max calls this the zoom tool. When I click on it and I click and drag in a viewport, I can move forward and back. In fact, this isn't really zooming in the way a camera operates because zoom in camera terminology is staying in one place and adjusting the focal length of the lens to get a wide shot or a tight shot. This, in fact, is dollying forward and back. So in true camera terminology, this would be called a dolly. But unfortunately, in 3ds Max, it's referred to as a zoom. So there's a little bit of confusion around that. But in any event, the magnifying glass will dolly you forward and back in any viewport. There's also a shortcut for that. Okay, so if I switch, for example, to my Select and Move tool, and I want to dolly forward in my scene, I can use, if I have a wheel on my mouse, I can rotate that wheel. So, spin the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I can go over to another viewport, click on it, turn the mouse wheel and you'll see that it's zooming in and out but it's doing it incrementally. So if I want finer control with my shortcut keys, now I'm going to be using a sort of three finger salute here. I need to hold down the control key on my keyboard and the alt key and hold down the middle mouse button all three at the same time. I know that sounds like a lot at first but you'll find that this is still much faster and easier than going down to the icons all the time. So again, Control, Alt, and Middle Mouse button to dolly forward and back in any view. I've also got the ability to zoom in selectively. So I've got a Zoom Region tool. I can click on that, and that allows me to draw a box, and the viewport will zoom in to that area. I can also select objects, click on an object like, for example, this ground plane here, and I can simply hit the Z key on my keyboard, and all of my views will zoom in or out to enclose the selected object. So I can select this geosphere here and hit the Z key on my keyboard, not Control Z, but just simply Z, 
and that'll zoom all of my viewports. It's the same as this icon down here. It's called Zoom Extents All. But you'll never use the icon. You'll just use the Z key all the time. So I can click on the plane and press the Z key on the keyboard and I'll zoom back out again. To move side to side and up and down in 3ds Max, I'll use the hand icon. And this again, unfortunately, has terminology that's at odds with general usage in film and video. 3ds Max calls this panning moving left to right and up and down. More proper terminology for this would be trucking, trucking left and right. Moving up and down in the world is called pedestal. And I can use a shortcut key for that as well. I'll just hold down the middle mouse button. I don't need to press any keyboard key and I can move up and down and side to side in my world. I can also orbit around my world in a perspective view. It's this little button down here. Orbit. So if I click on it, you'll see I have a circle here now. The important thing is, if I'm going to do it this way through the icon, that I make sure that I click in the center of the circle to orbit or arc rotate, sometimes called tumble. Okay, very important that I don't click on the outside of the circle because if I do that, I will actually turn my viewpoint along my own line of sight. You could think of this as tilting your head from side to side. Typically, that's not something that you ever want to do. If you find yourself in trouble with a viewport, you can right click on the viewport label, in this case, perspective and choose undo. You'll note that undoing a viewport move is different from undoing, for example, an object manipulation. So that in Max, there are actually two separate undos, one for scene commands like moving objects and another for viewport commands such as arc rotate or orbit. So I can undo that. So again, you'll stay within the circle here. You can also use a keyboard shortcut for that, and then you don't, don't need to worry about staying inside that circle. I'll hold down the Alt key and the middle mouse button, and now I'm able to orbit or tumble or arc rotate. Those are all the same. So now, armed with this knowledge, you will see in 3ds Max that viewport navigation is all about the middle mouse button. Middle mouse by itself allows you to move left and right and up and down. Alt and middle mouse lets you orbit. Control Alt and middle mouse will let you dolly forward and back.